Hi everybody! Today we will be making a very fast speedboat with RC using this brushless motor. A commutator motor has two wires for power, while a brushless one has three. It will get very hot when running, so you need to cool it. This water cooling jacket will do it. We also need a small screw, transmission, and we will use this steel tube to connect the motor to the propeller. We have two Arduino nano boards, NRF24L01 modules, one with an antenna, the other is without an antenna. This means the range of the remote control can be increased up to 3,000 feet. This is an SG90 servo, two joysticks, and a speed controller for a brushless motor. An 11.1 volt battery will be installed on the boat. That is 2200 mAh, a 9 volt battery for the joysticks. All the links for all the equipment used are in the video description below. Use extruded polystyrene for the boat's hull. You can buy it in a hardware store. It's usually used for wall insulation. Let's make the hull. Glue two polystyrene pieces, 14 inches by 7 inches, together. I'll use two component glue for this. Measure all the large parts of equipment and draw an approximate boat outline. I have a 5.5 inch to 11 inch shape. Cut it out. It should look like this. Make holes and cutouts for the equipment. The motor one goes first. Make a slot for the transmission and a hole for the roller. The steel tube diameter is 7 millimeters. I made a hole with a 5 millimeter drill. Now the tube fits tightly. This is a very nice property of polystyrene. Make holes for the radio equipment. We also need to make cutouts for the battery and servo. This is how it must look. Let's deal with the cooling. Take the fishing tank pipes and press them into place with bent wire using pliers. I drilled two holes inside under the motor and pushed the pipes through. Insert it in, glue the pipes with the two component glue and glue the motor jacket to the polystyrene. Now upload the receiver sketches into the Arduino. You can find the link on how to do it in the video description below. Now solder everything according to this scheme. Take a look at the servo power on the transmitter scheme. These 11.1 volt batteries are made of three smaller batteries. These four wires are necessary for charging the battery. These two wires are 4 volt. I connected them to the servo. If the servo rotates in the opposite direction after it's been connected, and we need to rotate another way, we just need to swap any two wires. Here, a red and a blue one. I soldered and connected everything. Let's take a look. Take another polystyrene piece and make a lid. It should fit into the slots. This is the lid with a ledge to fit the slots. Put the PVA glue onto the boat's external parts, the hull, and the cover. If you know why, leave a comment below. Use the same polystyrene to make a remote. It should look like this. Now we make the rotary system. We need two wires curved like this, and a wire with plastic. I attached the plastic with a glue gun. We also have the servo arm, two screws, and a thinner wire. 
The servo fixing lugs must be cut off. I'll do it with a hacksaw. This is how it should look. After covering the boat surface with the PVA, we can varnish it. Check the rotation system. The blade must rotate at a slight angle so that the boat won't flip over in the water. Assemble everything and check how the circuit is working. Let's connect the remote and then the boat. На корабле. You cannot operate the motor straight away, as its speed controller is blocked. You need to turn the gas stick about halfway to unblock the controller. As soon as you hear the signal, you can operate the boat. Let's go to the river to see how it works. Oops. During the five days while I was making the video, the cold temperature of 23 degrees Fahrenheit made the river freeze. There were fishermen walking on the ice there. Let's check how it works in the bath. But this is the minimum speed. Let's increase it. As you can see, this is a very fast boat. I think the speed can reach as much as 15 miles per hour. You may have noticed that the boat has no name yet. I would like you to give it its name. Use the comment section to submit your suggestions, and the one that receives the most likes will become the boat's name. The voting will last until the ice melts. That's when I'm going to post a new video about the boat and a full test drive. If you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more crafts in the future. See you!